Hey guys, this is Richard from Clash with RLF, and today I was going to talk about strategy. So, when I was at Town Hall 9, I followed Nightly Gaming, and he said the most important thing is to start from one side. And you can see in a rush Town Hall 10, you start on one side, you clear out the base, and the Town Hall is situated in an area where you know that by the time you get the town hall, you will get the 50%. So, Beans goes in here from one side, and he starts clearing all the debris as he goes towards the center. He has wall breakers under rage. I love wall breakers under rage to go to the center, and it goes all the way to the core. And as his troops on the side clear out the the Barbarian King, of course, did not go to the center, but it turns out to be a good thing because he's going to help get the 50% and the Town Hall go down, goes down really easily and for a rushed base, it is not a problem getting the 50%. So I'm just going to speed this up. I thought originally he might actually get 100%, but not bad. So I think as a Town Hall 10, 9, I do usually advocate going from one side because you want to get 50% for sure, you want to get a 3 star, and here, Beans almost does get the 3 star, he just runs out of time because the Golem, of course, is hitting his head against the wall. And then, when you look at Beans' second attack, which is a higher base, you're going to see that he's actually not going to use the same technique. He's going to go from three fronts. He's going to try to funnel his um, troops to the center. He's going from two fronts, and then he's going to go in the middle corner, which is at six o'clock, to try to funnel his troops to the center. This time he does bring a jump spell, and wall breakers for me are so plus minus um, and as you know we've been seeing lava hounds in the clan castle all the time so I don't know why he didn't deploy his jump spell there um, but he is clearing the sides and uh, I mean I meant wall breakers but he's using the wall breakers to go to the center because under rage um, and he needs to get his entire force to the center the king goes to the center he's hitting attacking the town hall and the town hall has about one hit left and he's able to get the one star and it's obvious that he's going to get the extra star so um going attacking from more than one side on the town hall 10 i think is a better idea in many cases because getting the 50 percent is very hard so i'm gonna stop the base because i wanted to show you one more attack by Simon. And Simon also does, um, he doesn't really go from two sides, but he goes on the long of the base, which makes it almost two fronts. He lures his clan castle, and I'm actually surprised that this CC did not have lava hounds or a dragon, because as you know, with the new poison ups, with the new dark elixir update, the poison spell will easily dismantle everything but the balloons. So he's just trying to get the troops all to the center. Um, he needs to get the witch out. And... I think he'll drop the poison. So, as you can see, the poison just kills the witches and wizards, so I'm not sure why people still have witches and wizards in the CC and he deploys his base but he's going in more than one front so and this would guarantee that he would get the three star he's only putting one golem on the right hand side to get an extra percentage point but he's following it by a line of wizards and witches and he's putting three golems on the left hand side 
and mainly because he needs to make sure he can go to the center. And I've actually never really seen him use a jump spell, so this is kind of interesting that he does do that. He um, rages towards the center to try to get his heroes into the center compartment, and then he's going to he's already dropped his jump spell and his freeze spell, and now he's already gotten 40% because his Barbarian King went to the wrong side, and all he has to do is get the Town Hall. The Archer Queen, of course, is not hitting the Town Hall yet, and now she's latching onto the Town Hall, and she still has her ability. They have the 50%, so all he has to do is get the Town Hall, which I have no doubt he'd do unless... And she doesn't even need the... the she, she doesn't need the ability to get the Town Hall. And he gets the 50% in two stars. So great job for both Beans and Simon here. I just think that, as you can see, in a lower base or rush in Town Hall 9s and lower base or rush Town Hall 10s, you could still go from one side, but you really have to start thinking about not just funneling your troops to the center, but how are you going to get the extra star and get the 50%? Because with the higher defenses, your troops might be decimated if you just funnel your troops to the center. So let me know if you agree with the strategy in commentary. Thanks as always for watching and hope to see you soon.